What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. Welcome back to another quick video. In this one, I'll show you how to fix a very common issue with Visual Studio Code when you're remotely connecting to another computer or server using remote SSH. If you find that your CPU is hitting Macs and other programs, services, etc. are suffering, there's a very easy way to find out what it is. So for example, I'll pull up Visual Studio Code, remote SSH, connect to hosts, and connect to my remote server here. If I hit Control J to bring up the terminal, I can type in HTOP to run a very useful program that brings up a task manager-like interface in your terminal. You can simply install this by running sudo apt install htop and you should have access to it. Now, obviously, you'll see your CPU usage at the very top here, as well as memory usage, simply sort by CPU percent here by clicking it, and you should see a certain process at the very top. Now, if you see something along the lines of VS Code hyphen server RG or VS Code hyphen rip grip, followed by RG files hidden case sensitive NPM git something or other, a huge long command, then this is the solution that you're looking for. All you need to do is head into the settings of Visual Studio Code on the client that you're connected to it with. This will affect the server settings as well. Hit file, then preferences, followed by settings, and in here we'll simply be searching for at the very top here, search dot follow symlinks as such. Then all you need to do is uncheck follow symlinks, search follow symlinks, controls whether to follow symlinks while searching. When you untick this, the CPU usage should pretty much instantaneously drop. Otherwise, you can restart the VS Code server by hitting control shift P and in here typing in kill. So we'll go to remote SSH kill current VS Code server. When you do so, you'll be disconnected. You'll need to reconnect using SSH to your server, and just like that, you should have much better CPU usage on your server left to your programs rather than being taken up by VS Code server even when you're not connected. Now, this could be caused by many reasons. Usually, it'll just be extensions trying to search your file system or parts of it to see if things have been updated, etc., and symlinks can cause some issues with them that are very easy to solve. Heck, you can see a few of these threads posted on the VS Code GitHub page about RG taking up all their CPU, and the very simple solution is to just disable it. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide, so thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!